you guys see that beautiful background? It's uh, crazy, man. I had to film this. I've never seen a sky like that. It's crazy, man. It's beautiful, man. It's like... It's like a blue and red. It's crazy. Never, I've never seen anything like it, not to my memory. So I had to... Um, I need the excuse to make a video because uh, I, I, I'm obsessed with um, filmography. There are good shots and, and different backgrounds. So I was just thinking about this today, guys. I'd, I'd say probably the best skill in the world to have is your ability to control your own emotions. And another way I want to term it actually is the best skill to have is to be able to be comfortable being uncomfortable, like to be in social situations or in any situation where you feel frightened inside, you feel anxious, you feel very uncomfortable. But as Teddy Atlas says, you can be calm in an uncalm place, which basically just means the same thing. It means that you're in a fearful situation, you feel frightened, you feel scared, or you're in a situation that is not familiar to you, it's the unknown, it's different, it's uncomfortable, but you're able to still, you can control yourself and you can be, you can communicate in that situation or you can train in that situation because discomfort comes in different areas. It can be in the boxing ring, it can be on a first date, it could be at a job interview, it can be starting a business, it could be a public talk, it can be making a YouTube video, speaking in front of the camera, it can be meeting people for the first time. There's so many situations that challenge us and this is what I've learned, like I've learned many things but it's always, I, I always come back to it because if I didn't learn this guys I wouldn't have been able to make a penny, I wouldn't have made any money, I couldn't have built a business, I couldn't have helped anybody, I couldn't have changed their life, helped them to make money, get a girlfriend, you know, turn their life around. I had to, and I still have to do it, it's, it's not like once you've mastered it, you're comfortable now. No, it, it never ends. Um, you know, every single day, there's a new day. Now, obviously, if you're someone that doesn't want to be successful, obviously, that's your choice, that's fine. Then you're going to avoid discomfort in your life, but there's a consequence of avoiding discomfort. And I'd say, first thing that comes to mind is depression, is um, low self-esteem and feeling down. Because deep down, all of us know when we're not challenging ourselves. We know when we're avoiding things that we really should be facing for the benefit of ourselves and everybody else around us. For the most part, we're not living our dreams or even from the smallest thing like avoiding cleaning your apartment and denying it and, and rationalizing it. That's going to play on your conscience. Uh, so that's just an example of a small thing, but it could even be being in the wrong job and you know that you can do better you know you can go and earn more money or do a job that you love or set your own business up. So it really does um, tie into everything and especially with helping people, you know, to be kind to someone else. I'm not saying all the time, I'm not saying in order to be kind, you've got to get uncomfortable, but sometimes you do. Especially if, you're, if you go into the coaching industry and you start coaching people, you have to get uncomfortable. The very nature of helping another person to face their fears, change their life, improve their finances, relationships, that's uncomfortable. Obviously, when you've been doing it as long as I have, you get used to it, but it still challenges you from time to time. And that's actually a good thing. You, you start realizing when you get the benefits of, of a challenging experience, i.e. what we're talking about today, you, your thinking changes. Like most people um, don't like being uncomfortable. They think it's a negative, so they avoid it or they make an excuse. But there's a lot of people who do like getting uncomfortable, myself included, because they know the benefits. They know that if they get uncomfortable, they're going to make more money. They know if they get uncomfortable, they're going to be able to make a bigger impact on other people. If they get uncomfortable, they can change their job and be happy. Basically, getting uncomfortable will eventually lead you down a road of happiness. That's really what everybody's searching for, right? Subscribe to that channel if you're, in, if you're enjoying this video. So I always think about this and I never get bored of it. It's not like, oh, I know that now, move on. It, I always come back to it. You know, I, I learned this from my mentor and, and I learned this, um, you know, through my life experience when I first started going out into the world and interacting with people and coaching and doing public speaking and dating and doing business and making YouTube videos. And, you know, you just, you just pick these up. You just, even if you're not consciously wanting to learn, you just start realizing it and if you think about it when we're younger and we were kids we're quite fearless you know because we're so sort of orientated around just being curious and having fun and expressing ourselves. we're kind of doing it as a young kid but as we get to a certain age we become aware and then we get self-conscious of other people judging us we get scared we get bullied traumatized all, all the rest of it so you have successful. to kind of, um, you can't avoid this. It's not like you can say, well, I'm going to be successful, but I don't want to, I don't want to be uncomfortable. I don't want to face fear. I don't want to be 
I don't want to have those insecurities come up. You, you can't do it. It's, it's scientifically impossible because we have biology, we have emotions and we have reactions to things. And, you know, human nature, by definition, is designed to protect us, to keep us alive, not to keep us happy. That's, that's true. So to go against that is going to be challenging. Our own DNA, our own mechanisms are, have a reaction every time we come outside of our comfort zone. You could say every time we come out of our street door, right? Of course, there are levels, there, there are degrees of discomfort. Um, there are certain situations that don't scare some people because they're just relaxed in that situation. And there are some people that would be terrified. But everybody's got an area of their life that makes them feel uncomfortable and secure. And if you want to grow, then you've got to keep facing those areas. And, you know, I can give you so many examples. I'll do the best I can. Uh, I never script my videos, by the way. When I did first did boxing, you know, I had ideas about how it was going to be, how I wanted it to be, how I expected it to be. But when I went in, it was completely different to what I thought. It was a lot harder. It was frightening, frightened to death. I did a video. You can check it out. I'll leave a link. I'll talk about my experiences sparring down, um, you know, the boxing as an amateur and how scared I was and how I got better over time and it changed my life. I was uncomfortable. I just felt so, it felt unnatural. I felt insecure. I felt uh, exposed, uh, embarrassed, um, definitely some shame. All, all these things came up. But after doing it several times, I, I felt on top of the world. I didn't feel ashamed. I felt like I didn't care what anybody thought. I felt proud of myself. So that was an example in, in boxing where discomfort, like learning and eventually learning to control that, learning to control that anxiety, that pre-anxiety, you know, the fear of fighting another man and getting hurt or losing or getting embarrassed or yeah, humiliation, you know, learning to deal with those, with your psychology, with the thoughts, controlling those thoughts, not listen, controlling your emotions. It's the best skill in the world. I can't think of a skill better. Um, if you can think of a skill better than being able to control your own emotions and handle fearful situations and be comfortable whilst being uncomfortable, let me know in the box below. Um, I'd like to be proven wrong. Now, that doesn't mean it's a fact. This is obviously my opinion. Um, there probably is another skill out there, but I can't think of one on top of my head, especially if we're talking about self-improvement, you know, transforming your life, motivation, success, being the best person that you can be. There's not a better skill. Speak to any successful person who's intelligent pretty much all of them are, they wouldn't have got there otherwise, and they'll tell you the same thing I'm telling you. They might tell you in a slightly different way, because everyone's got their own personality and they've got their own language and how they express ideas and, and experiences and, and facts. Um, but they'll say the same thing, you know, you hear it all the time, you've got to push yourself, you've got to change your mindset, you've got to turn negatives into positives. They'll, all those things kind of lead to the, this same truth today. So boxing was like that, dating was like that. When I first started going on first dates, I was very uncomfortable. It was just uncomfortable. Just, just, just the very act of meeting a new person and going on a date was scary, was nerve-wracking. It made me feel, um, it made me feel uncomfortable. But over time, I was able to handle discomfort. I could relax more. And then, obviously, you can when you can, when you're more relaxed under pressure. And I'll say it again, as Teddy Atlas says, I, I like the quote. It's beautiful. When you're calm in an uncalm place, you do feel fright, fear but you can still enjoy it. You can control your state and you can calm yourself down. Sometimes you can completely calm yourself down and get rid of the fear. So it's such a good skill to have. I don't know why they don't teach it in schools because schools educate us on how to go out, go to university, which isn't a bad thing, get degrees, learn math, science, English, geography, history, sports, excellent. But then they don't teach you, like I said, such a, an important thing. Yeah, it's all good having this knowledge, but how you can overcome your fears. You, you know, kids and people have fears to go to university, meeting new people, social fears, fears of public speaking, fears of selling your idea when you become qualified and you want to turn it into a business. See, it's almost like unavoidable. So it's beyond me and I've heard thousands of people say the same thing. They can't understand why schools don't really teach kids how to be confident, how to have life skills, not just academic, understanding of reading books and memorizing books and passing exams through memorizing facts and and you know solving equations and maths and obviously and i'm not saying that's bad but it's bad if you only learn that you're going to come unstuck you're going to go out into the world and then you're going to be afraid you're going to be uh, too insensitive and you can't excel like that so it's such an important 
um, skill to have and you only really value it when you take the action. You can't really value it from hearing another person tell you who is experienced. You have to experience it for yourself. You know, you have to become fearless, you have to push yourself and it's a habit. It's something that you train yourself. The first time you do something scary and uncomfortable, it's hard to make yourself do it again because you know what's going to happen. You know it don't feel pleasant. But you find a way, you find your own, however you do it, you find your own thought process or your own way of motivating yourself to put yourself back in that situation. And that's a fantastic skill to have. To be able to go into a situation that's challenging and frightening, get through it, survive, the next day um, is born, and then to go and do it again, you know, and that's what success is about. That's what it. That's what it requires. That is the process of building confidence, getting over social fears, life fears, gaining mental toughness, gaining confidence in it. In every area. It's. Um, I love it. I'm really passionate about it. So, let me know in the box below if you've improved at controlling your own emotions, or it's something that you want to get better at. Subscribe to my channel. Follow my videos. It's something that naturally every person I've ever coached I've taught them how to do that how to teach themselves to control that and it's uh it's such a fascinating thing it's um it, I never get bored of it because I still have fear and anxiety and I still have to face it regardless of the fact that I have faced this feeling thousands of thousands of times but it still comes back it's still scary it's still uncomfortable but I have a different mindset and I have a, a different coping mechanism in how I deal with it as opposed to when I was younger and I couldn't deal with it. As soon as I felt it, run away. That was my instincts. So it's really teaching yourself to hold put, to ground yourself, to stay still when you feel like exiting or leaving a situation which is frightening. Now obviously there, was a, there are other contexts where common sense is needed, where if there's like, if you're crossing the road, obviously you're not gonna stand there. You're gonna cross, you don't wanna get hit by a car or there's certain obviously things. You don't jump off a high, a high roof, so obviously putting things into perspective but things where like you're not in danger but as far as your biology is concerned you are in danger you're nervous you're anxious in a situation like doing a speech so that's it hope you enjoyed it like share i'll read your comments in the box below and more importantly go and start practicing it and i promise you what will happen is if you stick at it and it's not easy to do which is why you'll value it, you will, you, like it says, you will get comfortable being uncomfortable and that will lead to so many great things in your life and it will make you a more, it'll make you a better person actually, much kinder, much, you'll connect with people better, you'll have a better relationship yourself and even more than the things I've said, like there's more benefits, I can't think of all of them, but you've got to experience it, all right? Fearless.